I know it's been a super long time since I've made a video um, but there have been a few changes around my house and we're actually currently renovating my bedroom back at my mom's house so it's been really really busy and I'm sorry that I haven't been making any videos and uh, my face kind of had like a mini breakout stay off the makeup for a while and just let my skin heal so um, if you want to see my February favourites then please carry on watching so aside from my mini breakout, my whole body has been going through different changes and um, I've been going through a really really dry phase. My lips have been really really chapped and flaky for the whole month. The product I've been using to help with that is my Corez Lip Butter in Jasmine, which is a baby pink. It's slightly tinted but um, it doesn't really show up that much, just a light pink haze on your lips and the smell is absolutely amazing. I'm pretty sure you guys have seen me mention this product before and it smells like sweets or candy, but it smells so, so nice and I love putting this on. And I put this on at nighttime and daytime and really, really helps with my lips. Like I said, my body has been going through a dry phase and my hands are not the exception because I've been getting like, like eczema on um, the cracks of my fingers and on my in an elbow here so I've been applying the Body Shop Hemp Hand Cream for dry skin um, on my hands and I've been using the body butter for my body so uh, this is really really good it's quite expensive it's like £11 for a tube this big um, but it's really really health and I tend to use this at night time because it is quite a thick consistency so you want to let it soak in and do its job when you sleep so you don't have the to. next thing is a nail polish and this is the Maxfinity um, what's it called? Glossfinity Nude in uh, 25 Desert Sand so this was a nail varnish that my friend recommended me because she absolutely loves nude varnishes. She told me this was a really, really great nude. So I tried it and oh my God, I absolutely love this nude. It's like the perfect shade for my skin tone. Um, I don't have it on my nails at the moment, but I do have a picture of it I will put in right now so you can see what it looks like. And it just looks like I have a top coat on my nails because it's so natural and it's glossy at the same time Um, I've been loving it I've been applying it as much as I can but my nails have been going through a dry phase as well and it's been cracking and chipping constantly so I've kind of laid off the nail varnish for now and just let it kind of heal a bit Scoonsy? I don't know how you say the brand name but it's basically hair grips and there were five but I only have two left for some reason. They have like these plastic little nodules on the inside if you can see here and here. They're made out of rubber and they grip onto your hair so well. I took at my hair and it's still stuck like on my hair literally and with other normal grips my hair would have fallen out already. I've been loving these because they're just super strong at holding my hair and I think they're so convenient as well you can just throw them in your bag and just put your hair up whenever you need to or you just want to get it out of your face then this is one of the best things ever. And the next product which is also hair related are these little like telephone cord looking hair bands. I got these from a uh, Changi airport in Singapore when I was coming back from that trip and I actually got them from a toy shop which is pretty funny and I have no idea whether they're actually meant to be bracelets or hair ties but I am using them as hair ties because I s I've seen them in, um, in boots before, quite similar design but just not as bright in colour. So I've been using them as hair ties and they are amazing. Literally, they just stay pot. But what I usually do is I just tie it twice and then I put it into a bun like this. And whenever I just move my hair, it just stays pot. Like it doesn't move. I'm currently using this orange one only because I think these two are a bit too bright for my daily use. So. Yes, been loving these. I think you can get these from Claire's accessories or boots, like I said. The first one is actually my sleek brow kit. Uh, and I've got it in the shade dark. And inside it's got the wax side, the powder side, and then two little brushes, which I do use every single day because I find them to be really convenient. 
even though it's in the shade dark. I think it's kind of like a medium chocolate brown. Um, so it suits my hair colour really, really well and it looks very natural. It's not too harsh or bold. So I've been loving this. I've been using it every single day. Skin Food Mushroom BB Cream. So my face has just been really dull and colourless. So I thought I would, you know, go back to BB creams and try this one out again since I found it again recently. And the only reason that I didn't use it in the past was because it had too much of a pink undertone. Um, but I think that it actually suits me really well now. Now that my undertone has changed, it's more of a yellow undertone now. I think it actually suits it a bit more. It is a peach toned BB cream. And if I just move it, it's really, really smooth. And the consistency is quite thick. So it does give a very good coverage. It does definitely have like a peachy undertone. And it just gives my face a bit more color. Um, don't look as dull and I look very healthy as well. I do have it on today. Um, I think it does match my skin tone quite well. But I've been using this and I love it. The finish is kind of like a satin finish depending on whether you put powder on or not. Too dewy looking. It's not matte. It's just very healthy and it gives a very healthy glow if you can see on my face. So the next product is my mascara that I've got on today and I have reviewed it recently so I'm pretty sure you guys have seen the video already and it's the Maybelline Lash Sensational Mascara. It gives amazing length, not a lot of volume but I prefer length than volume anyways and if you can see on my lashes today guys it's very long and dark, which I love 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 and um, I'm not going to talk too much about this because I have reviewed it recently so I'm just going to link the video down below for you guys to see so go check it out and see how my first impressions of this goes last last product of my february favorites is my lipstick that i've got on today and it is the rimmel moisture new lipstick in 470 glam plum fulham it's absolutely a really really pretty color so i do have it on my lips today uh, with the urban decay sasso lip gloss on top and this is kind of like a berry colour. Well, it's like a plumish berry colour um, with more of a red tone instead of a like a purpley tone. It's very, very moisturising and so pigmented if you guys can see that. So it's definitely really hydrating. You can see like the moisture in the actual lipstick and it has great colour payoff. Um, but you have to be quite careful when you apply this because it's kind of like a slippery kind of texture So when you apply it, it can you know easily smudge but I would recommend you guys to apply this with a lip brush for more Precision and accuracy it can go on quite strong at one area and then kind of light at other areas So what I usually do is I just put this on around the center of my lips and then I use my fingers to actually blend it out and then finish the rest of my lips with my finger. Yes, this has been a really, really great colour for me um, for the past month because I have been going for the minimal makeup look um, like today. Loving this combination at the moment. But yes, that is my last favourite for this month, guys, and I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you guys had an amazing February, and let me know what your favourites are in the comments below, and I'll speak to you guys in my next video. Bye!